Welcome back to the channel, guys. How many of you out there that ride a motorcycle have thought of uh, joining a motorcycle club? How many of you thought, you know, maybe you watched a TV show and thought, man, that hanging out in the clubhouse with your brothers, playing pool, just it, it, they romanticize it. It looks great. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I would, that's kind of why I set the garage up as a place for guys to come hang out, for friends to hang out. Not a motorcycle club. I'm not in a club. I'm in my local hog chapter. That's not an MC. It's not a motorcycle club. It's a riding group. Uh, big difference. But I mean, I'm sure there's folks out there that are new to the motorcycle world. You just bought your first bike and, and you maybe watch a TV show and you're like, yeah, man, I want to put a patch on. I want to hang out. I want to do all that stuff. If your only experience with motorcycle clubs is what you've seen on a TV show or maybe a documentary or something, get educated before you go do that. Um, be careful what you're putting on your vest. To me, look, a lot of folks think it's silly that the rules they have, like if I want to start a club, I should be able to start a club. I shouldn't have to get permission from anybody. But you do. I mean, you know, whether you like it or not, the dominant club in your area is going to have to give you permission if you want to start a club. Um, maybe that's silly, but that's how it works. Um, they're going to, you know, it, it, they may say, yeah, you can start your club, but you're going to wear a patch that says you support our club. Maybe you don't want to be affiliated with that club. If you want to start a club, you're going to have to do it. And I understand that motorcycle riding is all about freedom and the road and you don't want all these rules and all this structure and stuff. Well, unfortunately, if you want to ride with a patch on your back and you want to be in a club, you're going to have to do that. So I've, I've been riding for, I don't know, years. And, and you know, when I first started riding, I joined the, uh, the Yamaha Riding Club, the Star Touring and Riding. I started out as the Sergeant at Arms, then I was the... Uh, and all I did really was just make sure... I started the meetings, held order at the meetings, made sure nobody... You know, we all took our turns talking. It was no big deal. And I was vice president, uh, did the web page for a while. Then I became president of the chapter. And uh, this was in New York. And we had a really successful chapter, a lot of members. We did a lot of great riding, went down to Orange County Choppers and hung out with those guys and did some rides. And, uh, you know, in the off season, being the winter up there, we had bowling nights and stuff just to keep everybody together. We went to movies and we went to see wild hogs and stuff like that. Moved down here in North Carolina, I haven't really found um, you know, a club like that to join. There are some MCs down here. We do have a dominant 1% MC that's in the area. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm not a 1%er. Not knocking 1%ers, it's just not me. I'm, you know, this is not me. So would I like to have a patch on my back and be part of a brotherhood? Absolutely. Am I, 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 I guess I'm one of those guys that, that I want the patch and I want to enjoy it all, but I'm too old to prospect. I'm not going to wash somebody else's bike. I'm not going to do all that. I'm not going to get up at three o'clock in the morning and go buy cigarettes for some guy. You know, and, and that's what you need to do if you want to prospect with an MC. Not going to happen. I just, that's just not me. So, you know what? I choose not to be in a club. I have friends that I ride with and um, I take, I've taken some heat every now and then because I, I do wear a vest when I ride it. It's comfortable. I like it. Um, has a Harley Davidson patch on the back. It doesn't have a club. It doesn't have a rocker. Nothing like that. Um, but I enjoy the freedom of riding when I want, where I want, with whoever I want to ride with. And sometimes when you're in a club, you can't do that. So um, I just wondered what you know you guys think about the whole club life and um, if it's something that you thought, yeah, it might be fun to ride with a club if you're. If, the dedication that it takes, you know, the time commitment, um, putting it above work and family, um, it's just, it's not anything that I'm willing to do. I'm not willing to put the club before family or job or, you know, without the job, there's no motorcycle and, you know, without my family, I've got nothing. That They're everything. So they're going to come first. So in a lot of clubs, it's not how it works, man. Club comes first. Got a family commitment? Oh well, club needs you to go do something. Then you got to go do it. So, you know that's just not how I how I how I work. So uh, that's why I'm not in a club. I did have someone say, "Hey, how come you don't join so and so's club?" You know, I'm like, "Well, that's why." Um, great group of guys. I'm sure they'd be there for me if I needed them. Um, 
but just not my thing. So, uh, you know, I choose to ride by myself. Now, I'm not going to be one of these goofballs that puts a patch on my back and says lone wolf, independent, and all that nonsense. They actually have, they actually have chapters of lone wolf, right? Which defeats the purpose. If you're a lone wolf, you're by yourself. You don't need a chapter. I, don't get me started on that. It, it's ridiculous. But I, I, I get the club life. I get the dedication that it takes. I understand all that. Some of the rules um, that they have. Maybe they don't make sense to me, uh, but I understand why they have them and what their structure is all about. Um, you know, if I want to, if I want to get a bunch of guys together and throw a patch on and, and go ride as a group, I need to get their permission. Should I have to get someone's permission? I mean, really, should I have to? Well, I do. So, you know, whether or not I should, I mean, you know, if I put a patch on the back with a rocker or anything, and, and I go ride in this one percent club that's in the area sees that. That's going to offend them because they busted their tails to get that patch. They had to earn theirs. Now I'm just throwing one on and it, it, it's an insult to them. Should it be? I don't know. Maybe not. But to people outside of the club, it seems silly. To people inside the club, they take it really seriously. So, you know, if your only exposure to the club life is the TV show, again, get educated, read some books like I have, um, you know, Talk to people that, that, that you know that are in a club, and uh, it's not for everybody. I guess is really what I'm trying to say. There is there is a, 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 a romantic brotherhood part of it that that everybody desires. I get that, but the commitment that it takes is, is pretty severe, and uh, not everyone can do it. So I know I'm beating a dead horse here. I'm repeating myself, and I apologize for that. You know, it was a cloudy day. I'm not going anywhere. I'm on my lunch break from work. I thought I'd sit here and talk to you guys a little bit about MCs. And uh, again, the, the MC world, you know, it, it's it's fascinating to me in, in the, they, the dedication that they have. I just find that awesome. The, the fact that they're willing to, whatever their brother needs, man, they're willing to do it for him. And I you know, you have friends that you'll do that for, but to have a whole club like that. And then, you know, to think that you, you, you join this club, you, you hang around with them, you go through the process of prospecting, and then you do get patched in. And maybe you don't know everybody quite that great. You've hung around, you've prospected, but you don't know intimately. But if you needed something, one of those guys would be there for you, whether they knew you that well or not, because you earned that patch. And they know that you're a stand-up guy because you were able to earn that patch. So there's a lot of really cool things about joining the club. If I could find a club that would let me um, be a part of their brotherhood, have their back, have my back, and you know ride when I want to ride and not have those club first, um, club over family and everything else um, requirements, you know, I'd, I'd probably be joined. Um, maybe a riding club or something like that. I was part of a riding club. Um, their name insinuated that they had no rules and I ended up leaving the club because there were just too many rules. It's like, geez, they were a lot of dictating of, of what I could and couldn't do, who I could ride with, when I could ride. I'm like, ah, I don't need all that nonsense. I bought the bike to ride for the freedom of it. I don't need someone to tell me when I can and can't ride. I don't know. Um, just a topic that I thought was interesting and just wanted to see what you guys thought. Uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and post them down below and um, do some reading. I mean, it's it's fascinating to me. You know, I, I, I used to be fascinated by the, the, the mafia and all the intricacies of the, the families and stuff. And the motorcycle world is, is not that they're, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to say that they're affiliated with crime, but they have a structure to them, that which I is really fascinating to me and I've read books about them, I've watched TV shows, I've talked with guys who are in clubs and it, to me it's just fascinating. So I really um, am into it and, and it just I encourage you to look into it. it, it it's really kind of cool that I mean these guys are so dedicated to, to, to this club. Um, it, it's fascinating to me. So you know maybe not to you, I don't know, but it's interesting. Find some books there's YouTube videos that, that now, I mean, I've seen some videos with actual members of 1% of clubs that you can watch, and uh, which again, to watch what these guys go through, to earn their patches, um, to see how they're treated by society, to see how they're treated by law enforcement. Um, a lot of times just having that patch on their back will 
get them, they're a target. So, uh, you know, that part of it, yeah, I don't wanna be a target. I just wanna go ride, you know what I mean? I just wanna go ride. And I don't need to be targeted by, by law enforcement or a rival club or anybody. I just wanna get out there and go, so. But anyway, um, look into it. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, put a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'll keep throwing some stuff together and getting it out there every Thursday for you. And uh, well, thanks for coming along for the ride. Appreciate it. We'll see you next week.